Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus and this is a short tutorial on Lightworks. This time it's about uh, synchronizing multiple video sources without having a common timecode. This is actually quite simple in Lightworks and works quite intuitively once you figure it out. But I was having a lot of difficulty making it work, so I figured I would create a tutorial for myself and if it's also helpful for someone else, that would just be great. So let's have a look at it. Here we have two different video sources. We, are, uh, we have my camera, my camera and audio from the car and, and recording from a smartphone. Before you freak out, no, I'm not driving. This is just where I have my recording set up, uh, but I'm not driving and working on a smartphone at the same time. I am parked. Right, so with that out of the way, let's look at the actual content. What I have is I've opened each of these in, in the viewer over here. I found the timestamp and that location here 110325 corresponds exactly to the timestamp on the smartphone recording the way i've synchronized it is by finding a sharp sound on my audio recording that fits to an action on the actual smartphone this takes a bit of uh, getting used to it and it's not completely perfect the right way to do it is of course a clapper if you have multiple cameras uh, but in this case uh, this is as good as it gets and you can always adjust it afterwards if, if needed anyway now I, I know that this exact frame and this exact frame they match and I want to make sure that they go together so if I scrub on one it also scrubs on the other the way I do it is I select both of them I right click I make I make a multi-camera bin and then I select the current frame because I don't have a time code so I'll use the current frame as a uh, so the multicam bin is basically saying these are multiple cameras recording the same thing and yeah, they are must be synchronized and kept synchronized. Here we go. Now you can see that if I scrub on one, the other one will follow. And likewise, that's empty. So uh, this is now where we have it. And what is important is the next step when you add it to the timeline. The position you have it up here, this was something that was uh, really annoying for me. The position you start here is a position that gets dragged in. So basically, in this case, I want to drag it to the very start. I drag this video in, and that means when I... There we go. Then I just make another track for the video, because uh, this one has video and two audio tracks. So as I drag... The video and audio tracks in it will fit so at the first frame it starts from the red marker and only goes forward so that's uh, important to remember and at this point i then have both of them in the same two video sources and one audio source or basically two audios the stereo audio source the next challenge is is how do we fix the overlay but that's a topic for another video so i hope this was helpful on uh, on showing an easy way how to merge and synchronize uh, two videos without use of time codes. So thank you for joining and I hope you enjoyed.